Unit 5, Section C, Exercise 7. Good morning and welcome to the programme. Now, we all like a good horror story. Myths and legends have been around since the first humans sat around a campfire and told stories to each other. In the studio today, we have an English professor, author and specialist in classical literature by day, who has, out of hours, made it her passion to collect and put on paper as many urban legends as she can. Welcome to the studio, Dr Miriam Webster. Thank you. Dr Webster, I think I know what an urban legend is. Well, the strict definition is quite complicated. Urban legends are generally stories that are said to be true and passed from individual to individual, usually orally. They invariably happen to someone other than the storyteller, usually the friend of a friend. Typically, these stories describe humiliating, humorous, terrifying or supernatural events. Sometimes there's an implied moral message, like... Be careful, or the same horrible thing might happen to you. Yes, urban legends are so delightful, aren't they? Full of positivity and joy. So, where do we get them from? Well, they're a type of folklore, defined as the beliefs, stories and traditions of ordinary people, or folk. So, one way of differentiating them is by examining where they come from and how they travel. Legends arise spontaneously and can rarely be traced to a single point of origin. And again, they're usually spread by word of mouth and only in rare cases through mass media. Because they end up being repeated by many different people, the stories tend to change over time. So no two versions of an urban legend are ever exactly alike. There can be as many variations as there are tellers of the tale. Do urban legends ever turn out to be true? Occasionally they do. But being true disqualifies a story from being an urban legend. Remember, urban legends aren't defined as false stories. They're defined as stories alleged to be true in the absence of actual knowledge or evidence. True or not, as long as a story continues to be passed on as factual by folk who don't really know the facts, it's an urban legend. And of course, people will believe anything. Maybe our brains are hardwired in some way to be susceptible to well-told stories. It does seem to be the case that we have a built-in tendency to interpret life in narrative terms. Maybe it's a psychological survival tactic. Perhaps one of the ways we cope is by turning the things that scare us, embarrass us or make us laugh into stories. We're charmed by them for the same reasons we're charmed by Hollywood films. Good guys win, bad guys are punished, everything tidied up at the end. And that's also the end of our programme. Thank you, Dr. Webster.